Hey people, it's me again. So, anyways, I'm out here at the lookout point. So, anyways, I don't know if you guys have ever really heard about like, those uh, Red Square slash uh, Florence Nightingale types. But these are always like the type of people that tend to go after the ones that are psychologically or emotionally messed up in some ways and seem wanting to fix them in some ways. I don't know if that was like the case with a lot of them, but although for starters, I, I mean, I do know someone in the family that is that way and, and that's in a relationship or I should say married to someone that's what that is that way, you know. I'm not gonna say specifically there, you know, but although I think one example would have been is uh has anybody ever heard of that heard of that uh, celebrity Danny Bonnie Ducci, you know, with um how his ex wife was kind of one of those uh, Florence Nightingale types wanting to be in with him only because of his complicated um, emotional problems and, and psychological issues and once all that was fixed and stuff you know then she left. I think that's always seems the case there. Uh, they only stick around for the bad times and rather than for the good and the bad. It's kind of like those uh, foul weather friends or even the, the fair weather friends. People who don't really stick around for the both the good and the bad times. But then there are some people that stick around simply for the bad times as far as the foul weather friends. If anybody had ever really looked that up on the Urban Dictionary, that foul weather friends are usually the ones that be, they become friends when they're when they're down on their luck of some sort of financially emotionally or psychologically in some point or or another any of those any combination of that matter and then once they once they're back on their feet they just basically disappear off the face of the earth like that and these are just type of people that that are just as bad as fair with their friends that you can't really keep them around on in the in the bad times with fair weather friends, but with foul weather friends is you can't keep them around when things got good. It's with fair weather friends is like you can't keep them around when things get bad. So I don't understand why there's some people that are like that. They can't really stick around for both the bad and the good. And that's might have been the case for certain people that are like the rest, are those uh, rescuers slash Florence Nightingale types. You know? They only stick around and be a lot more than just your friend when you're down on your luck and emotionally down, emotionally and mentally downtrodden. But as soon as they're over, you're back. As soon as you're over and back on your feet, they hightail it for some reason. It's just as bad as people who stick around when you're good, and then and they hightail it as soon as things start to sour. As soon as this first sign of problem. So I'm not really going to be that way with some of those guys. You know, I was debating it with myself a, a lot about. For in about a couple of like weeks ago, I think, but whether if I was that type of person, you know. But then I realized I'm probably not that type of a person that can just simply drop a guy like that once they get back on their feet and all that. And uh, I tend to want to stick around with them for a long time, and that's always the case where I tend to have certain problems with them guys because as soon as they 
starts to sour up, you know, and then I, I still wanted to be there. I still wanted to be with whatever guy that I kind of seemed to in, be interested in him. When it starts to have some sort of emotional or psychological kind of problems or things, or when some conflict arose there, I still wanted to be around. I think this is where I'm getting at with uh, any of these other guys that I've been interested in the past. It's not just Ricky that I talked about a few years ago. You know, I think I have wanted to stick around with him, even though most of the time when I was having these kind of problems, there it wasn't really Ricky's fault. It was merely, merely Dad being in my way and and this one guy that just wouldn't take no for an answer, and another guy that wouldn't take no for an answer, and then, and then have, um, have some other guy bugging me because he just missed his chance, you know, when he had it. I mean, I'm talking about Eloy the actor with the air quotes, you know. But I think then you learn something. You learn something more about yourself as far as when you go when into relationships and stuff, and then and then your view of relationships tend to change once you get in and get out of certain relationships. You know, because uh, when I got home, I think I was only interested in like having something serious. But then I think as soon as when I had a sort of encounter with that guy, I call like I mean I tell people his like name his name was like Matt and that was the guy that wouldn't leave me alone and he was just super clean, you know, with me. And it made me made me kind of rethink, gee, do I really want to have like a relationship with somebody like that, you know? Or have somebody something serious at that point, you know, in this stage of my life, you know? And I kind of realized the entire time it was merely that I do want, like, a relationship. I want to get to know them in the process. And a lot of times, there are some of them that that I can only get to know them as a friend first, but and then, and then seem like they don't really want to have anything further with me because they're afraid of spoiling the relationship of some sort. And there are others that seemingly be that maybe, maybe I wanted it too fast or something, you know. And, and then there are some that simply just don't know what they really want. And then there are some that that clearly want me but don't really know what they want me for. That sort of thing. And there are some of the guys that I seem to encounter on on whether it was Bear WW or Bigger City or Bear Forum One or any of those sites there that they were just simply trying to make some sort of statement with me, you know, because because they just didn't like my preference of guys there in the first place, you know. Or I don't know. But I think that was just really the case with me in some cases, you know. Well here it is, I'm doing double negatives, you know doesn't really matter because that's just how the way I talk as far as being an Aspie. We're not nearly as perfect as we seem to be. But So, anyways, I guess that's probably it, people. So, see you guys next time.